Time for baseball on the show from the bank. Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Washington Nationals and the Philadelphia Phillies. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Cliff Lee out of the state of Arkansas is on the hill here. EK, what's the word on him? Well, guys, hitters have a batting average against close to 300 against him. So he's going to have to make some adjustments if he hopes to be successful. And he's going to try for three right out of the chute tonight. And he is in there. I'm not sure if this will wind up being a triple. It really should be a three base error. I mean, here it is. He was there in plenty of time. He just winds up with a handful of air. And they are going to hit him with an E. It's well deserved. Matt Duffy will stand in. He, too, had three hits in the win last night. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1 0. Hit hard to short. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Batting Carlos Gomez Center will stand in. And he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. Well, his last game was a breath of fresh air because he's been stinking it up lately. Under 200 over his last 10 games. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Batting fifth, the left fielder number four. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Nationals have now taken a 4-0 lead. Here's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1-2. and two. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. He'll take the turn and head for second. Gordon not stopping. He's heading for third. And they're right back in business again. He's in with a triple. Matt six. Wieters Catch is set to try his Matt. luck now with four Wieters. runs already across and a chance to make it five right here. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Seven. Stepping in, Clint Robinson. He'll get to take his first Robinson. cuts here. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is not what that man right there had in mind. He's watched this guy really struggle here in the first inning. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Yeah, when he's going good, there are few guys as fun to watch as Hanley Ramirez. He works hard at his craft, and he really knows what works for him at the plate. Alcides Escobar will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Yeah, and you don't have to look much further than that location right there to see why he's been struggling. That pitch is right down the middle to start this at bat. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. To two balls and two strikes now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. John Lester gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, Matty, he's got close to 200 innings this year. He's been very dependable, thrown deep into a lot of ball games. He's looking to do the same in this one. Leading Chris Bryant comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a swing and a miss at a pitch well off the plate. It's strike one. Eric, these Nationals as they enter play here tonight, four and two over the last six games, including a win last time out. And they're already well on their way to another win, and we've only played half an inning. 
I, I tell you, this team can score runs in bunches, and they're off to a fantastic start here. Got him. Justin Upton will get his first shot at it here. He's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And on the mound, here's where you got to keep pitching like it's a one-run game. You never want to get in that relaxed mode where you think, eh, I've got some cushion. I, I can afford to give up some hits. Well, that'll spell disaster. Jackie Robinson takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Lester sets. First pitch on its way. Into the seats, 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Runners on first with one down. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Well, this is one of those guys that's got to keep the ball down in the strike zone. He's never going to overpower you. He just needs to use that sinking fastball and the changeup to get guys to hit the ball on the ground. Watch as this game goes along, the ground ball to fly ball ratio. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Gomez. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two-run shot to right center. 24 home runs for him on the season. And it's now a 5-2 game. And if he was guessing up there, he was guessing right because he's all over that thing like a shaggy dog and he drives it over the wall. Into the windup and the pitch. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Ramirez is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Hunter Pence will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. The 0-1 on its way. And he falls behind 0-2. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. The throw He's to first out. is in time, and the inning is over. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's the Nationals five, and the Phillies two. Aaron Hicks will stand in to lead off the second, and lead what will they the do for an encore oh, after the first number inning number they put together? Well, you know, Matt, they might not have to do anything at all. That's how good the first inning was. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Number five, second baseman, Josh Harrison. Josh Harrison is at the plate as he watches ball one. Two and oh. You can bet he's a little rattled still from that first inning. He gave up a lot of solid contact that first time through the lineup. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Well, that base hit is going to get his hit streak to six games now, so he's swinging it. Matt Duffy steps in for his second at-bat. A fielder's choice his first time around. And there's a fastball from Lee to start him out. It's 0-1. Hard liner toward short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. How about it? So a runner at first with two away. And Carlos standing in the Gomez. speedy Carlos Gomez. Hey. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Squared that one up just a little late. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Pence. 
And the inning is over. One left for Washington. Steve Pierce will stand in for the first time now, coming off a three-hit contest in the loss last night. Well, Matty just continues this string of his last 10 games where he's hitting over 300. He has those really, really nice games mixed in there. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Into the box, Michael Franco, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lester gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and he hung him a curveball there, and he's going to live to regret it as this ball is going to wind up well over the wall in left field. A long home run. Batting eight, the shortstop. A solo shot Batting here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now, and it's a 5-3 game now. Well, these guys aren't wasting a whole lot of time up there. But they've taken an aggressive approach here early in the count, and it's paid off for them through the first few innings. Yonder Alonso will come forward now, and like so many of his Phillies teammates, really thrives here at Citizens Bank Park, as is reflected in his splits. And this is taken outside for ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Line towards center field. In there, the base hit. Now batting. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Chris Bryant will stand in here. He was set down on strikes to start the home first. As bad as he looked on that breaking ball, his first at bat, he's going to see nothing but breaking oh, balls in this one. Uh, and there's the good fastball from Lester as he jumps ahead. No balls and a strike. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, this is a tough way to help your on-base percentage out as a leadoff hitter, but he's on base here regardless. Justin Upton is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. All right, you're down two here. You've got the tying runs in scoring position with one out. This has to be a productive at bat. Even if you don't reach base, you've got to get that guy in from third. Has to be thinking strikeout here. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. So striding in, Jackie Robinson, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a 5-4 to four ball game. Alex Rodriguez stands in, the eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded in two away. Yeah, you know, and this could get ugly in a hurry. Or pretty, I guess, depending on which dugout you're sitting in. Drill down the line. Looking to minimize the damage here. Hit hard on the ground to second. Backhanded. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this in. Hanley Ramirez is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. Hit high and deep to right center. Franco ranging back, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Around second headed for third is Ramirez. And he'll get there as he kicks off the third with a leadoff triple. Settling in now, Alex Gordon. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Runner at third here, nobody out. And a good-looking swing there from Gordon, but he can't come up with it, and it's 0-2 now. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. And even on 1-2 now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking. You've got to put this ball in play. 
And he's just going to try to draw an airmailed throw as he heads back to third now with now one away in the inning. Matt Wieters. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Lee comes set. Here he comes 0 1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A, a run. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Clint Robinson stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. Strike two on the curveball. 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Hunter Pence, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. You know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Gomez racing back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Steve Pierce will stand in here with a runner at first to start the inning. Now, I know both of you are more familiar with the art of hitting as opposed to the art of pitching, but on a wet night like this, who do you think this favors? Well, I, I think it favors the pitcher. I know they're going to argue well the grip, but the ball doesn't carry on wet nights. So if I'm out there, I'm saying, look, pitcher advantage. Michael Franco will stand in, and his guys have got something cooking now with two on and nobody out. And down by two, this is a good opportunity to try to put yourselves level. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Trying to give himself up here, but this is foul, so the runners will return. The 0-2 home. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. First and second here with nobody out. Bunsign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. On to first with it is Weeder, so it's a successful sacrifice. Alejandro Deaza stands in to bat now with the opportunity to drive in a pair and perhaps even it up here in the early going. Oh, and you know he'd love to erase this deficit with just one swing of the... And that ball gets by him. But no, he'll hold it third. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw is late, so it'll be an infield single and an RBI on a perfect suicide squeeze. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. So stepping in, Yonder Alonso, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Grounded back up the middle, Escobar on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four. Alcides Escobar is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Alcides Escobar. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Aaron Hicks stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, you know, guys, he's oh, thrown a first pitch strike to about 80% of the batters he's faced, but he hasn't been able to get things done. He's not pitching well, and we're into the middle innings of this game now. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Nope, that's a ball. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. And this will be handled by Pence for the first out. Josh Harrison steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. And he takes ball one. Runners off for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. 
And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that'll compound matters even further. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Third baseman, number six. Matt Duffy Matt will stand in here. Duffy. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. In there, strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Right three. three called, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Chris Bryant. And Leading they'll need the him to get inning. something going here. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he will get in there safely with a double to start the home fourth. And now another base well, runner for him to contend with eight. now. Just and as we bring up his line, you can see that's an even 10 hits against him so far. And you have to wonder how much longer they're going to let him stay out there. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A two-run home run off the bat of Justin Upton. Number 28 on the season, as that'll pull him into a tie at 7-7. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Lester's ready. 0-2 on its way. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Bounced weakly near the plate. Going to be a tough play. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Designated hitter. So the bases are empty with one man gone and set to stand in the still very imposing figure of the three time MVP Alex Rodriguez swung on and missed its 0 and 1 outside at 94 one ball and one strike. Right side hit hard and that's through for a hit. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. He's set. Here it comes. Grounded down the third baseline. Reined in. There's Harrison for one. On to first, and it's dropped! Steve Pierce will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Seven runs on 12 hits and two errors so far on the Philadelphia line score. Hit on the ground to short. Underhanded flip. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. But two come across. To Carlos Gomez will stand in to lead things off here in Can You Believe It? A tie ball game again. Carlos. Yeah, this thing has had more ups and downs than my 401k. And I've got a feeling we've got some more to come. Hit to first. Pierce is there. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. Now batting. Offense apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Hanley Ramirez strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Lee steps into his windup. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball left side. 
throw not in time and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Alex Gordon will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And a change will be forthcoming as that's going to do it tonight for Cliff Lee. James Sorvala is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Franco has it in his tracks. And that's the second out of the inning. Matt Wieters will try things again. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there. Right over the top. You just fire that thing in there. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's nope. two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Is he worrying too much about that guy on first? I, I think he might be. The guys worry so much about the stolen base, but they don't realize that a walk is ten times worse. After it is Upton. And that retires the side. Nationals leave one. This remains a seven. Michael Franco. Steps in and perhaps Leading looking to drive Wyoming. another one out of the park just like Center he did in the there. second. And Mike some action Powell. out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both the left-hander and a right-hander throwing. And Lester back to work as this is swung on and missed for the first strike. Softly hit out to short. Oh, and he botches it! And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Now batting. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager. And I believe that's going to be all for John Lester. Hector Santiago is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Alejandro Deaza started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0-1. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1-1. One one. Oh, Look, if I'm calling the game, I would have gone right back outside and see if you could get him to go after another pitch out there. Curveball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Three and one now. Well, this is a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1. And, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a fastball. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Boy, and he's not too thrilled with that call out there on the mound. And you know what? I don't blame him. I mean, have a look where this pitch is. That catches an awful lot of the plate, and I think I'd be mad if I were him. Here's Yonder Alonzo. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Uh, good pitch right there. Right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. Now a bunt attempt here, but this one gets right by him. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant steps in, working on a one for two game so far. First pitch on its way. Bunt attempt, but that'll bounce foul. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on 0 and 2. Squaring with two strikes as he gets this one down. Throw to the plate. A tag from Weeders, and he is out trying to score. 
Justin Upton digs in and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip home. This is a big two out AB right here, guys. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Seven runs on 12 hits and two errors so far on the Philadelphia line score. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first, and the runner will get back standing. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And Upton won't chase that one. It's 1-2. One Check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Clint Robinson steps in here to lead off the sixth as the rain continues to fall here. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Ripped on the ground to first. Pierce has it. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. The batter, number two. Alcides Escobar will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Chopped at the plate. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. And another foul ball. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The batter, right fielder. Aaron, Aaron Hicks, Hicks is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order. Jackie Robinson will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very Second first baseman. inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Hit to short. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now back. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. First pitch of the at-bat. The cleanup hitter, Alex Rodriguez, stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. That is the hardest first pitch to look for because you just can't wait long enough. Not only is it a hard pitch to hit, but it sets up everything else you have. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Yeah, and on two and one right now, you got to figure this guy's wound up for the fastball here. Maybe you come with the breaking ball here out of the zone and hope he goes after it. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. And that misses, so the count goes full to A-Rod now, three and two. On deck, there are the unique stylings of Hunter Pence. He'll be next. Swing and a miss by A-Rod, so he becomes a strikeout victim here. Hunter Pence steps in. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at-bat. 
hard hit ball to second. Played on the backhand. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. Josh Harrison is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. There's a swing and a high pop-up calling for it. Bryant, one out. Third baseman, number six. Matt Duffy stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Bases are empty, one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Ready with the 0 2. Now a swing, and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. The batter, Carlos Pedro. Gomez Carlos gets another crack Gomez. right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. and oh. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Oh, Hanley Ramirez strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he gets ahead with the curveball. Strike one. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1-1. One and one. High and wide, two balls and a strike. Looks like they're showing a bit more respect to that guy up there. And that's what a three for three ball game will do for you. He's set, here's the 2-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Steve Pierce steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone and that's strike one. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. Now here's the pitch. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Good change up right there down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on. So that's a great job to lay off. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And when he's down 0 and two he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at two and two he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. He knows the drill out there. You gotta make him swing the bat. To not be giving up walks at this stage of the game. Because those could be fatal. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Michael Franco will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Chop foul over towards the dugout. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Striding into the box, Alejandro Deaza. He drew a walk his first time up. Alejandro Deaza. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Throw on to second, so they'll get oh, the lead there. man, and that's all. Yonder Alonso digs in. He struck out after whipping on a bunt attempt in his first at-bat. And I'm still not sure why they had him trying to bunt with two strikes. I'm just not a big fan of doing it. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. Swing and a soft liner, barehanded on the hop. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. We'll see Alex Gordon to start. 
And there is Alex Gordon. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. The 2015 regular season was a tough one for Alex Gordon due to those injuries. But he came back strong to contribute in the playoffs to help the Royals bring that World Series championship home. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Matt Wieters is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. You know a guy throws hard when his change-ups at 89. One there. On to Pierce at first but too late to get them both. Now that Clint Robinson will step in. A ground out victim as last time. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0-2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1-2. One 1-2. And two. One and two, here it comes. Chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain 1-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Swing and a liner, but foul. And that misses two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. The batter, number two. Alcides Escobar is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. One left for Washington. Alfred Broussard will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Now playing left. Chris Bryant digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Uh, he was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. And, boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. One and two. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. Still two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3-2. and two. Due next is Justin Upton as he gets loose in the on-deck circle. Line drive to center field. Gomez is there, and he has it for the first out. Well, this ball was hit pretty hard, and he's just hoping to get on base as the go-ahead run. But it kind of hangs up there a little bit too long, and it finds the outfielder's glove. Justin Upton checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. Oh. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. And that's where he's at his best. When he gets that sinker running away, he's tough to hit. And this is fouled back and out of play. To short. 
in time to first, and there are two away. Digging in, Jackie Robinson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Two out, nobody on. Chopped weakly to the left. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game. Dominic Brown is going to come on and pinch hit here, and this is an important at bat, leading things off in the ninth in a tie ball game. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Here we go on an 0-2 count. All you have to do is start that thing right down the middle of the plate and then just let it work its way in. Hopefully get a swing through or maybe even a shattered bat. Hard liner to center field, and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Josh Harrison comes to the plate in a key spot. Go-ahead run at first with nobody out. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how they decide to play it here. Some would try to manufacture that run with a sacrifice or maybe even a steal. And others say, hey, let them swing. Don't give away any outs. So coming to the plate, Matt Duffy. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Matt Duffy will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game. And what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point in the game, but he could make up for it with a big hit right here. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. Carlos Gomez is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. He got him, and the go-ahead run will be left stranded at second base. Dominic Brown will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Eric Goodell will come on needing to get three outs here to try to send this game to extra innings. And this is fouled back and out of play. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now in the box, Hunter Pence. He's one for four for the game. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Steve Pierce stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. From the stretch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. And guys, this has been just what the doctor ordered out of the bullpen. Yeah, they needed him to come in and give him a strong inning, and he's done exactly that. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three. For Hanley Ramirez strides into the box now. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And here's a ball hit in the air. Pence on the run. A quick out number one. Now back. Digging in, Alfred Broussard. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. 
And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. And this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92-93. Now batting. Matt Wieters Matt stands into the Wieters. box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Clint Robinson stands in as he looks at ball one here. Chop foul right at home plate. One and one, here it is. Swing at a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory. Greg Bird will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Leading off for the Phillies. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. High pop-up. And that's taken in by Escobar for the first out. Alejandro Deaza ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. Gomez going back on it, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. Yonder Alonso. Yonder Alonso digs in looking to send something into the outfield that gives that go ahead run a chance to score from second. Well no complaints on this end guys. You've got to love any game that's this tight this late. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Outside for a ball one and one. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Tap foul at home plate. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Broussard racing back. He makes the running play. Two down. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. How about Chris hey, Bryant hey, digs in now hey. after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here. On oh, a less than impressive oh, swing there to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Uh, with the game on the line here got to make sure you're going after strikes high in the air out to center field Gomez over to his right and that ends the inning Alcides Escobar comes to the plate as the leadoff man here in the 11th inning line hard toward right center and they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through Stepping in and ready for another shot. Dominic Brown. He reached on a single in his first try. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and here's a swing and a miss. And Brown is down on strikes for the first out. First offering on its way. Hit in the air out to right. Josh Harrison. And there to take it in his pence, and that's out number two. 
Matt Duffy stands in here trying to get off the schneid. He's 0 for 5 so far. Lays off 1 and 0. And this ball's hit sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. On the ground up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And standing in the speedy Carlos Gomez. Franco sprinting after it. Makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on two hits. No errors. Justin Upton will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Boy, he got away with a high challenge there, but one more mistake like that, and the party might be over. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. In the air to straightaway right. And Brown will look this one in for route number one. How about it? Jackie Robinson strides into the box now. Launch one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a fastball is swung on and tipped foul right near home plate. It's strike one. Here comes the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Alex Rodriguez digs in, and he'll try to improve on a one-for-five effort thus far. Yeah, and you know, guys, the difference between a two-for-six and a one-for-six is a big deal. So let's see what he can do here. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it, in fact, lands in the corner. Foul. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind 1-2. and two. Still no fastballs in the at-bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give him to his strength. High and deep to right center. Looking up is Brown. Gone! Santa Maria! Game over! A two-run shot off the bat of Alex Rodriguez. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. And, fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no 